So these are facts. Three hundred and fifty-three families with children in Santa Fe do not have their own place to live and have to double up with other families in crowded living situations, and I think it's appalling. And something needs to be done about it right away. Six hundred twenty-five homeless students. There's only one family shelter room in Santa Fe at Saint Elizabeth Shelter, just enough space for one family. Where the other family's going to go? And I think it's a disgrace. A community this wealthy should be able to take care of, of homeless families. And I know four or five different families are out here in the streets. There are more than four animal shelters in Santa Fe and only one room for homeless families. Only one room. Does that mean there's only one shelter? Well, you, yeah, our, um, our priorities are pretty backwards. There are estimated 200 homeless teens in Santa Fe and not one teen homeless shelter. And there's a lot more than 200 homeless teens in Santa Fe, and they do have no place to go. There were 625 homeless students in the Santa Fe public school system. Last year, over 700 children, youth, and families were homeless in Santa Fe. There are an estimated 200 homeless teens in Santa Fe. I know a lot of them too, so yeah. And not one teen homeless shelter. Um, I hope my baby is never one of those homeless. I was homeless for about three months. I tried it for three months, and it wasn't fun. I don't think they like it. I didn't like it. I think it's pretty sad considering that I know a couple of them myself who have driven out of their homes because of some pretty screwed up stuff with their families and such. Because they often don't want adults to find out about their situation. Well, most of the teens that are out here are out here because adults have put them in that situation. And they're not going to turn to an adult for help. Mostly because their parents are either like on drugs or just don't really care about their kids. And I've actually seen teenagers walk through, going through garbage cans, looking for food because they don't know the appropriate places to go. It's the only um, shelter north of Albuquerque all the way to Colorado. We're looking at the estimated number of 1,200 homeless people in Santa Fe, and um, St. Elizabeth Shelter is able to house about 32. When I'm homeless, well, I have property, but I don't have a home. There's a tent. Well, it's a home. Yeah. We turn away around 18 to 20 people a night. And there's no shelter space for teen parents or their children in the whole city of Santa Fe. And, and this is a rich city. It's got lots of money. Why isn't anybody trying to help the kids? Yeah, you know, my mother was a pregnant teenager. Two boys, me and my brother. And uh, she, she uh, was like 18. There are at least four animal shelters in Santa Fe and not one shelter for teens. The way I feel about it is that it's appalling. I mean, I love animals, but our kids are the most important thing. There's an emergency youth shelter where youth ages 10 through 17 can stay for 30 days if a guardian signs them in. For youth fleeing an abusive home and teens over 17, there is nowhere for them to go. They at least deserve to have somewhere to sleep. Most homeless families have huge outstanding medical bills. Many have children in need of special medical or mental health problems. The cost of living in Santa Fe is very pricey. It must get cold. Well, it does, but it's cold when you can't pay those heating bills either. <laughs> this is not brain science work. People are homeless because there is, there is no housing. The mayor made a statement and it was in the paper that he wanted to stamp out homelessness in five years. The mayor, the mayor has, has convened a blue ribbon panel to end homelessness in Santa Fe in five years. Most people believe that everyone deserves a place to live, which is a, a very important issue, but just not in my backyard, not just next to me. We're the richest country in the world, and what we waste can, can save millions of children. This is our future generation. What's going to become of Santa Fe if this future generation can't even afford to get a home, can't even afford to get a meal, can't afford to put clothes in their bags? And all it takes is for one town to get the ball rolling and then the rest of the country will follow suit.